Okay, so what we're going to work on today is graphing a piecewise function. So a piecewise function is a function defined by two or more equations. All right, so this is an example of a piecewise function. So notice, even though there's two uh, graphs on here, it's still a function. It still passes the vertical line test, even here. And the reason why it passes it even here, because you have an open circle and a closed circle. So it's the red line that includes the... Um, the x value is 0, but the blue line does not include the x value of 0, so therefore it's still a function. So we're going to talk about how to actually graph this. We're going to graph it down here, and um, that's pretty much it. You just have to make sure you take a look at uh, the intervals over here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a table of values. for each part of the function. In the x column, only use the appropriate x values. So that's when you have to look at that over there. 3 is, just remember if it's greater than or less than, you graph an open circle. If it's less than or equal to greater than or equal to, you graph a closed circle. And then you're just going to graph the function. Okay, so I'll show you how to graph this, this guy up here, uh, right down here. So I'm just going to move everything up. Okay, so I have, notice here I have f of x. f of x is equal to x minus 2 for x is less than or equal to 0. And f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 when x is greater than 0. Okay, so let's start. Uh, over here I'm going to do f of x is equal to x minus 2, so I'm going to need an x column, y column. And over here I'm going to do f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So make sure you have your calculators out so we can plug them in. Alright, so let's start by plugging in the calculator y equals x minus 2. So go to your table of values. Alright, now my x values have to be less than or equal to 0. So I'm going to start with 0. And it can be 0, so on the side I just want you to put a dot so we know it's going to be a closed circle there. And then we're going to use negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And look in uh, the y values, what do we get? For 0 is negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Alright, so let's graph that. So I have 0, negative 2, and that's a solid circle. The rest are going to be solid too, so negative 1, negative 3 negative 2, negative 4, negative 3, negative 5, and negative 4, negative 6. And it keeps going, so it'll look like that. All right, so now let's go over to our other, our other part of the function, f of x. Plug it in your calculator. f of x equals 2x plus 1. But my x values have to be greater than 0. So at 0, I have to still plug plot 0, but it's going to be an open circle. So put an open circle right next to it, and it's got to be greater than 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the y columns, I'll have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So for 0, 1, I'll have an open circle. And then I have 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, and 4, 9. So it'll look like that. Okay, so let's try another one. So flip it over. Okay, so I have f of x equals x plus 5 for x is less than negative 2, and f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3 when x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So let's write our functions down. f of x equals x plus 5 in x column, y column, and f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3, x column, y column. 
All right, so I have here x is less than negative 2. So at negative 2, I'm going to have an open circle. So it has to be less than negative 2. So negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And look in the y column, we get 3, 2, 1, 0. So let's pop the point. So negative 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, open circle. And then we have negative 3, ne uh, 2. Negative 4, 1, 5, 0. And that keeps going, so it looks like that. Okay, so now let's go to the quadratic. So plug in the quadratic, x squared plus 2x plus 3. But my x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So I'm going to start at negative 2, and it's going to be a solid circle. And it has to be greater than that. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And look at the y values. I have 3, 2, 3, 6, and 11. We won't be able to graph the 11. It'll go off the graph. All right, so at negative 2, 3, it's a solid circle. Negative 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 6, and then it's like 2, 11, which is up here. So it looks like this. Okay, and let's take a look at 3. Okay, so I have f of x equals x squared minus 1 when x is less than or equal to 0. f of x equals 2x minus 1 when x is from 0 to 5, including 5 but not including 0. And x is equals, well, uh, f of x equals 3 when x is greater than 5. Okay, so let's start with f of x equals x squared minus 1. And then we need f of x equals 2x minus 1. And f of x equals 3. Okay, so let's start with f, x squared, f of x equals x squared minus 1. So plug it in your calculator. Your x values have to be less than or equal to 0. So we'll start at 0, and it's going to be a solid circle. Less than 0, so it'll be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And we get negative 1, 0, 3, 8. So let's plot the points. 0, negative 1. Negative 1, 0. Negative 2, 3. And negative 3, 8. Okay, so it looks like that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's now do f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Now I have to use 0 to 5. 0, it's going to be open circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Close circle. All right, so in the y column, it would be negative 1, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So let's plot the point. 0, negative 1. But it's already there, so I don't really need to put that point. 1, 1. 2, 3. 3, 5. 4, 7. And 5, 9. Okay, and I'm going to draw that. And I just realized I have a typo on here. This should actually be a 9. f of x is equal to 9, so just change that. Okay, so then for f of x is equal to 9, we'll have in our x column 5, 6, 7, 8, open circle. So plug in your calculator, f of x equals 9, so it's all 9's down. Okay, so we have 5, 9, 6, 9, 7, 9, and so on. So it goes that way. So that's what your graph looks like. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Have a good night.